have been fortunate enough to have um, wonderful friends who were able to be supportive of me when neither of us, of us knew what was going on. And I'm saying this in terms of from my experience of um, having had a flashback in, fr in front of a friend um, and huddled and going away and just the acceptance. And she sat there and she rubbed my leg and just to do this while I went through this. So from one extreme there, I mean, it's that to um, certainly my husband is, has been able to be very supportive of um, sometimes even recognizing before I do when my anxiety level, when I'm starting to be a little bit more on edge, and um, you know, and sometimes I can tell because uh, he'll clean clutter up that I wouldn't necessarily paint in it. <laughs> like Is I'll come in. True? I think that the other part of this that, and I joked with them about that, is being able to have some humor in it. And I, humor is incredibly important to me. I mean, it's from having the, uh, the sense to um, not treat me like this fragile being, but to be able to say, yeah, we have the scary boxes in the hall. <laughs> to acknowledge that that's part of my life and just get on with it. I mean, to be supportive, but they don't scan the environment. They're not necessarily keeping me in a bubble, but just... I want to add something. There are people who come from toxic families, and they shouldn't go home again. Sometimes I find that I can use the authority that I have as a physician to say, you don't have to go home for the holidays. They really don't want to, but they feel obligated and they feel there'll be someone in the family who'll lay a trip on them for not doing what's expected. For not following the rules. That's right. And these, and these are the rules that were used to degrade, to traumatize, to abuse. It's, it's all part of that. Yeah. And, and you don't have to go back. Did, did you learn that? Oh, yeah. And, and the, the ironic part of this, I learned this early, and I'd say in my, in my 20s, mm -hmm. actually. The irony for me is that I, I learned that I actually had more power in my family than I realized by mm -hmm. just not, I mean, no, I'm not going back. I'm not doing this. I'm, uh, um, if you continue to speak with me that way, I am not staying here tonight. I am not, and, and then not doing it. And some of them are in denial about the perpetration that went on within the family. And they're going to stick to their denial. That's their coping mechanism. You write books. That's a different coping mechanism. And, and they, it's better. Yeah. Well, and they, you know, they have their own stories and yes. their own paths. Yes. So, um, but that, just, just because a family member has their own path doesn't mean I have to lay myself down in front of them so they run me over. Exactly. <laughs> so.